I've just spent a couple of hours wandering around Haiphong, Vietnam's third biggest city, the major port of uh, the north of the country, and it's been really cool. This may be the Vietnam's third biggest city, but it's almost completely off the, uh, the tourist radar, so I wandered around here and haven't seen any other foreigners at all, and uh, that could be a nice thing. But Haiphong may be uh, poised to become a bit more of a tourist destination. This city has a lot of history, uh, although a visit to the uh, museum doesn't really give you much of a sense of that. They, um, they keep, uh, they keep uh, the history thing pretty much to themselves. But actually, uh, one of the most important battles in the history of Vietnam, the Battle of Bac Dang, took place not that far from here. And uh, hello! And uh, during the sort of battle against the French in 1946, one of the most important battles of the early stages of the Vietnam War, really the beginnings of the First Indochina War, that all occurred here as well. And then during what we know as the Vietnam War, what the Vietnamese call the American War, the, the port was uh, mined during the 1970s and Haiphong was also very heavily bombed. So there's a, there's a lot of history here, but there's a lot of character to the place as well. It's a good place to eat. Hang on. Bang Da Kua, the trademark noodles with crab dish of Hai Phong. Uh, but it is very much a, a city that doesn't really see any tourists and has very little tourist infrastructure. Hello, hello! hello. One of the standout things of the city is that uh, it's probably second only to Hanoi for uh, kind of crumbling French colonial architecture. You get the sense that there might be some big things ahead for Haiphong. As I said, it's the port city of the north. It's the third biggest city in Vietnam. There's a huge amount of, uh, of manufacturing going on around here. But also, the whole access to Halong Bay is kind of beginning to change. It's a huge bay and uh, Haiphong is looking increasingly like another important gateway to the bay. So it's quite possible there'll be more tourists finding their way to this city. I met some really cool people in Haiphong too. This Seom driver was one of them. And these two sisters in their 80s who just come back from France and thought I might speak some French too. Oh no, a Pháp ở đâu? Nancy. Nancy, ah, okay. The next day, I was all set to take the 45-minute boat ride to Cat Bar Island. Cat Bar Island is the largest of the thousands of islands in Halong Bay, and it's set to become uh, an increasingly popular gateway for travellers to Halong Bay. The old port's probably seen better days. Hopefully the boat's in better shape. But it's a pretty picturesque little spot, some cracking old buildings here. These old Russian hydrofoils are still adding a little bit of adventure to the 45 minute ride between Haiphong and Katba. For more independent travel information on Haiphong and Katba Island, check out rustycompass.com. Thank you.